What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on the free-to-play account, and my goodness, are we going to have some explosive progress yet again. So I've taken the time, and I've gone through, and I've done a few things through so far. I've done some of this. I still need to work on, like, all of our shelter missions. That's going to be a tough one to do. I've gone through the celebration. I've already gone through quite a few of these levels here. Uh, we prioritized grabbing... Uh, cores of transcendence we grabbed the relics we grabbed uh the better attack oriented treasure right here uh and we grabbed a bunch of good stuff here we actually this was a tough one because it's going to be a little hard potentially getting to the end i did skip out on the last three we hit the meat a little bit early we're gonna have to see how this turns out uh and currently we are on this part because we got the meat we only need 20 coins and of course we still need uh, we need actually no. Did we already do that? Yeah, we already did that. Yeah, I feel like we already did. Okay, <laughs> I got confused for a second here. Yes, I did because I did get the celebration coupons in order to swap for the Eloise, and now we are on to the battle. So essentially, what we need to do is we need to get these fifty coins and more. We're basically gonna have to go to the two hundred and twenty-five point mark, I believe. Uh, because we need uh, probably about 30 to 35 ish more here and then we need a 40 in order to get the final prize which most likely we're going with sublimation so that's the route here uh, we're, tomorrow we're probably going to re-roll a ton of tavern quests that's going to do two things number one is going to help finish our monthly carnival number two we're going to get points here we're slowly going to accumulate more dice rolls as the week goes on you can see we're eight basically out of gems right now and then finally we might do some soul awakenings one thing i'm definitely doing right now is we're going to take our main hero and i think we're only going to do the free awakening i'm saving this for the first soul awakening gala because well that's worth like what like five 11 points something like that so we're just going to do the free one for right now put it in the main body here it's fine uh if we hit something great cool if we don't you know it is what it is d minus is good enough for now but again if we do need to do some more soul awakenings we will do them this week i most definitely definitely will uh now one thing you'll notice gems is a little low right now because uh we did buy out puppets and the puppets are going to do one big thing. We are going to go straight to E5. Why are you locked? Wait. Oh, it's always PvP. It's always the PvP lineups that all of our heroes are stuck in. So we have a 10 star that we made like I talked about last week. Uh, we don't quite have the gems to buy two 10 stars from the gem mall this week. So instead, we just used our Emily and we upgraded her to max, which is why uh, we're still hurting on gems a little bit. <laughs> To say the least but hey we have an e5 eloise now and she is ready to go so let's see what this hero is going to do for us now we can upgrade this set all the way up or the level up to 330 well <laughs> actually not quite spirit is going to be something holding us back and i don't think we get spirit anywhere what we do get is a nine star puppet which i'm cool with as well uh, I don't think there's anything in here. No, we've already done the gem purchases anyway. We'll have to see how that turns out. Uh, leveling her up will take a little while. However, by just doing a bunch of these levels, we might get the resources we need. I also managed to swap into a Tix. Yes, I was trying to see if with our couple branch swaps we had, if I could swap into an Eloise. We hit a Tix. And uh, actually, you know what? The Tix needs an artifact because yes sir you need this magic sauce <laughs> that's gonna be actually really huge if we can get that to land here um put the ticks in the lineup maybe we're strong enough now i don't know this was a wave that was causing us a lot of issues the ticks does quite a few damage although whenever somebody dies on our team they heal for a lot <laughs> so if they just hit her it's perfect there we go we're gonna get a w i think Ooh, nine stacks is a lot of damage but uh it's not too bad so we're gonna smash through this see where we end up so it does look like we are stuck at 506 which is one of those like really healer intense type of waves uh usually what happens is eloise can't out dps them is usually what i've seen in the past uh we should also take a look and see if her stone can be upgraded we can get up to soulstone three yeah you see some of these uh some of these damaging skills are a little bit hard to actually break through 
And I think what the better thing with her, since there's no CC on this one, running her with resilience helps a ton. But again, I think in the past, yes, yeah, always been an issue beating this wave with the Eloise. And the only way to beat it is just you get stronger. Like you just your hero just gets tougher because that way doesn't work very well. So let's take a look. A couple things to check out. Um, don't no, we can't do that. We still aren't gonna do the set of gear just yet, I don't think. What we can do is we can try to build this with resilience instead, and that might help us out. Uh oh wow, I totally just realized that. We have a lot of upgrades to do here. I just realized we have stellar shards. And the other thing that was unlocked is oh, we have so many cores of transcendence, but I need 10 star food. <laughs> I totally forgot about this part. Oh my goodness. We need to make some food. However, we might actually be able to pretty quickly. Uh, the problem is we need more hero copies of specific heroes. And it looks like shadow is going to have to be that faction for hmm we need to somehow get our hands on essentially two more dominator copies because we already started the build here we have two puppets here which is almost enough yeah it's going to be a little progress man it really sucks that we're gated behind uh that although when the cores might be pretty interesting for the heroic miracle next week also a profit summoning event man this is a tricky one i actually don't think using all of our cords right now is the play because as it stands right now we don't really have many five-star heroes to pull out of the bag to complete the heroic miracle so i think that's what we're gonna have to do we're just gonna have to play this slow in order to play this smart this closes when we have another day so we can wait to do aspen dungeon tomorrow I mean, well, the only other place that we can really get a ton of progress, most likely, is this right here. If we jump into here, Six does get to go, which is perfect. Puts the ghost on the boss. More importantly, though, we just have tons of healing right here, which is just perfect. And uh, you guys can see she is a lot tankier at this point, too. Tons of healing at the end of the round. Perfect. We're going to be able to get quite a bit of progress, which is meaning we're going to get a lot of four star shards because as you guys see, when you clear it for the first time, you get a big chunk. We need that this week because there is a shelter mission right here. So this should go at least to 15. I feel like maybe not 15. Let's take a look. The ghost going on the boss though is like the best thing ever. Question is, is the damage incoming too much for us? Oh my gosh, it is. I think we need a stronger monster at this point. Although this, this one looks really good. We just have to avoid the actives. Ugh, the boss active might just one tap us. Oh, that's good. Actually, with the Tick's Ghost, yeah. Cool, we did get 15 done. Oh no, sorry, 14. Oh. Darn it, we have to do one more of these battles to get to 15. We might be able to do it. It's just the rounds where they all have actives are the worst nightmare for us. Um, let's do this then. Since they're not fast enough in the, like the ice trolls even at level 60 aren't fast enough to go first. We're just going to put ticks here and then he'll be able to do an attack swap. He'll get another attack hit. Hopefully lower the damage we're taking. It does proc us. But if we can kill some of these targets before they get their next actives, we'll be fine. Mm, that dot was a little bit too big, so we'll do another smash here. And uh, yeah, that'll, that'll help out an absolute ton. It gives us more of these resources. And most importantly, I actually forgot to do a couple things that would have helped us more. We have treasures. We have one from this event. We have one from the, uh, from the holiday event, the Christmas event. So... That actually gives us a little bit of stats here. And by a little bit, I mean like we just gained 4 million HP. We were only on like seven. <laughs> so that's a big difference when we're talking about a lot of these game modes. Whoops. Uh, that actually might be enough to just deal with this right here because those two little treasures, even though they're not a lot, for a free-to-play player, that is a lot of stats to get in the early game. Look at how much damage we're putting out now.
surprisingly decent damage. It's to the point where our five stars aren't just immediately getting nuked, all because we have two treasures. That's it. We're also going to get the pink treasure this time too. So early game free-to-play treasure train is such a boost to the speed, it feels like. Granted, they, they still have a ton of healing, so this could go sideways pretty easily. Come on, we need you to block, girl. I need you to block like every single attack here. The heart watcher marks are going to help out a ton as well. Same with that ticks ghost taking out that uh, Vesa. Yeah, there we go. We took two of them out right there with the active skill. I think we're just going to out heal them now that we almost doubled our HP just because of the treasure train, which is just nuts to think about. And there still could be an issue though, because there's not as many counterattacks now. We do have an active though. Yep, now it's 1v1 versus a Vesa. This could go extremely poorly. But with the stacking Phoenix buff, I hope she can't one-shot us, and that means we can win eventually. Well, there we go. We got the W. So, yeah, we'll be able to do a lot more progression here. Overall, we'll be able to just jump through a lot of these here. And by a lot, I mean a ton. Oh, yeah, we come up to some of these waves where we need to worry about CC. So, uh, yeah, good progress today. Up to an E5 hero. We'll jump in, do some Aspen Dungeon and some other stuff a little tomorrow. The Treasure Train, one of the biggest boosts. And like I said, if we, if and when we finish this out right here. Uh, oh, we don't get the pink one. We get one of the, we get another one of those. Well, that's fine because it unlocks both treasures for us. So, that's a big thumbs up. Granted, yeah. Not too bad. I guess you don't get the pink one until round three. That's fine. We don't care. We want these orange ones. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.